now i would like to invite uh, our keynote speaker for the day ms amelia ismail to join, uh, to deliver her address ms amelia is the executive coordinator for democracia global and the coordinator of the simulation model of the parliamentary assembly at united nations she has a degree in international relations from Univers from universidad del salvador and is doing a masters degree in journalism from universidad uh, torquato de tela pardon my pronunciation i don't know spanish she was awarded a scholarship to participate in the world youth forum by the government of egypt in 2017 and a year later by the world federalist movement to participate in the ventitone international seminar so thanks a lot for joining us ms amelia and we look forward to being enlightened by you thank you omkar for your nice presentation and well thanks for inviting me to this online model world parliament uh, good evening and for me, it's a pleasure to be here with you talking about the experience of Democracia Global during the different weeks for World Parliament. As you may already know, the Week for World Parliament is an annual event celebrated for a week in October. But before this year, uh, this week was called the Global Week of Action. But the goal of this week was always the same that was organized events worldwide to promote the establishment of a democratically elected world parliament. Democracia Global uh, is a very small organization in Argentina whose mantra is that global problems require global solutions. The main objective of uh, this organization is to promote global democracy by promoting the existence of democratic institutions at the regional and global level. One of our key campaigns that we have been promoting for several years now is the one uh, that seeks to create a parliamentary assembly at the United Nations or the UNPA campaign. Um, you know that there is a deficit um, at the international level that the states are confronted with a multitude of problems that transcend national boundaries and political tasks that they cannot tackle on their own. So more and more decisions on major policy issues have to be coordinated and taken at the international level. So this uh, parliamentary assembly would represent directly at the world, uh, would represent people directly at the world level for the first time. The parliamentarians of this assembly would be representatives of the world population. I mean, they, have, they would have a duty to represent the interest of humanity and to promote uh, and discuss global issues and make recommendations in this regard. The campaign uh, to create this parliamentary assembly was launched in 2007 and the support for this assembly has grown significantly over the last years. Uh, more than 1,700 members of parliament over the world uh, have signed the, the international appeal. And there are hundreds of personalities and civil society organizations that have supported the international, the establishment of this UNPA. So I explain this briefly because we are convinced that the first way in the search towards the creation of a world parliament is the creation of this assembly. So one of the activities that Democracia Global carry out during the week of, of, of October was the presentation of this UNPA campaign in different colleges and universities. The idea was to inform and to make students aware of the existence of this UNPA campaign and invite them to sign their support to establish it. So we have, for example, here, um, this is an event at University of, Belgr of, of Belgrano. Uh, here is Scholainen. Um, Scholainen is a former parliamentarian from Germany that uh, is, uh, a supporter of the UNPA campaign. Uh, I mean, he, he wrote a, a book also um, regarding this topic. 
And here uh, there are volunteers of Democracia Global presenting the UNPA campaign in, in, a, in a college of Buenos Aires, the capital of Argentina. And we have also other photos here. Uh, that was the first way to promote the week for uh, World Parliament in Argentina. Uh, here you have the photo of um, the first uh, UNPA model that we did in Argentina that I will briefly explain in a few minutes. And we have um, put a, uh, some um, international uh, forms so the students can, could sign. Uh, and it was great because uh, the majority of them didn't know about the, the UNPA campaign. Uh, so apart from doing this, we also make videos with our volunteers about what the UNPA campaign is so we can inform uh, in a simple way uh, about this campaign and the idea of establishing uh, a UMPA uh, in our social networks. So now I want to show you uh, a video that is in, uh, it has sub subtitles in English. Um, it was made uh, by our volunteers to here. Give me two seconds. Okay. The sound starts in a few seconds. Uh, Ma'am, the video is visible, but uh, is it in Alors, la MPS, c'est une uh, campagne, et c'est l'acronyme uh, en anglais qui veut dire uh, une assemblée parlementaire pour l'ONU. Et c'est une campagne qui a été lancée uh, en 2007 au niveau international. Et aujourd'hui, c'est uh, une association qui est composée d'un réseau entier de parlementaires, d'intellectuels et, et, uh, et de citoyens lambda qui veulent uh, renforcer uh, leur représentativité uh, au niveau international. La Asamblea Parlamentaria de Naciones Unidas es importante para llevar a la ciudadanía a tener mayor participación en la política internacional. Es un medio para democratizar y hacer escuchar las voces de los ciudadanos que no son representados en ningún organismo nacional ni regional. Entonces por, es un mecanismo donde todos los ciudadanos se verían representados con voz y voto. Hay grandes temas que requieren soluciones comunadas y a nivel general, cambio climático, inteligencia artificial, los problemas del trabajo, es decir, esto que atañe, digamos bien, es transversal a toda la ciudadanía y que no puede recaer sobre un pequeño eh, grupo eh, de, de funcionarios que son elegidos por un periodo corto y que tampoco representan al total de la ciudadanía. Esto lleva a que estos problemas globales requieran soluciones globales y que para esto tiene que ser llevado a cabo por organismos que representen a los ciudadanos. Existen diferentes formas para involucrarse en la campaña. La primera y la más simple podría ser entrando al sitio web y firmando el petitorio digital. Otra manera puede ser eh, siguiendo la campaña UNPA en Facebook y Twitter y si sos voluntario y quieres participar en los eventos, puedes mandarnos un mail, así te podemos conocer. Okay, well, this was a two-minute video made by, by volunteers from Democracia Global. But in 2019, we wanted to do something more practical and carry out a simulation model of this parliamentary assembly in the framework of the Global Week of Action for the World Parliament. So the objective of this model um, was and, and, and has been, I mean, uh, raise awareness about current problems at the global level and the interactions with the local and regional environment. And to show the international sphere as a space for action and incidents on international reality, where each individual can become an active global citizen. The first uh, UNPA model was held in Argentina with the students of international relations and political science from the Universidad Belgrano. Uh, we encourage the participants to put themselves in the shoes of members of parliament 
representing the citizens of the world, um, but they they don't uh, have to be tied to a specific political parties of, or, or countries. Uh, they work together on the drafting of viable uh, proposals or, or bills for, tackle, for tackling global issues and uh, issues that require, of course, global solutions. So uh, the idea is different from the United Nations model that uh, most of us know. I mean, the students are, or the participants of this model are not representatives of countries or political parties. And this is the challenge of the UNPA model. They need to understand that they are global citizens. And this is an essential point of our model, the concept of global citizenship. Uh, that means that no matter where we are from or where we are, global citizenship foster personal respect and respect for others. I mean, to be a global citizen is to understand that the human condition is above borders, okay? It's a way of life that recognizes that our world is an increasingly com complex web of connections and interdependencies. Uh, it's to understand that our actions have repercussions for people and community at the local and at the national and international levels, okay? So this model taking into account this idea of global citizenship consists of several me meetings where the UNPA campaign and the concept of global citizenship um, is explained. In 2019, the, the topic, the central topic of the UNPA model was uh, the environment. And then uh, they, the, the participants are divided into different commission. Uh, they, uh, the, the bills that are most voting, voted are then, um, then goes to the last session, the parliamentary assembly. That, is, uh, that in 2019 was held at the Senate of Argentina. And the students present, uh, presented the bills uh, that discussed in the different commissions, and they finally vote for one of them, okay? I would like to, sh to share with you some um, fragments of this um, parliamentary assembly that was held at the Senate. So, you can uh, see how the students explain and talk about environment. It's uh, only two minute video. Somos responsables de las acciones y decisiones que tomamos y no de los impulsos descargados de cada parte. Como humanidad, soy de la idea que también somos responsables de las acciones y decisiones que tomamos antes de las buenas voluntades que muchas veces existen, pero no se traducen en acciones. Entonces yo los invito a pensar junto conmigo, a preguntarse Si nos imaginamos a la humanidad hoy como un todo, unificado, como una totalidad, y la juzgamos a partir de sus acciones, a la humanidad hoy, ¿podemos decir que le importa el planeta? ¿Podemos decir que le importa siquiera en términos egoístas su propia supervivencia? ¿Que le importa la preservación del mundo y de los distintos hábitats que permiten su subsistencia? Estamos hablando, entonces, si se me permite llegar a la, a la, a la, a la tesis de que estamos hablando de un ecocidio, ¿sí? un término tampoco tan reconocido por todos. Y quiero demostrarles que en realidad el ecocidio fue en un momento una tentativa de incorporar al Estatuto de Roma como uno de los cinco crímenes de, eh, contra la humanidad y contra el medio ambiente que atentan contra la paz. Eh, ecocidio se entiende principalmente como destrucción o pérdida de ecosistemas en un territorio concreto, ya sea por la mediación, media, media, mediación humana o por otras, otras causas. En 2015 se dijo también 
que somos la primera generación capaz de terminar con la pobreza extrema, pero al mismo tiempo se nos dijo que somos la última generación capaz de terminar con el cambio climático. Entonces, honorable Asamblea, vengo a pedirles que no nos llenemos de cinismo, que no digamos todavía hay tiempo y que tomemos acciones concretas, porque este no es un plan ambicioso, este es un plan urgente. Ok. Um, this is how the parliamentary assembly model was held at the set eight. Uh, it was really interesting. And this year in, in India was having chosen as the location for the second uh, UMPA model. Uh, some of you have participated and the, the, the central topic was gender equality. And this second edition uh, was with the participation of UMA and Goa and Sharda University. Um, in 2020, uh, the week for World Parliament was celebrated online because of the COVID pandemic. Uh, and that year, uh, Democracia Global publicized the importance of that week through social media and sharing pictures of people supporting the creation of a World Parliament. And finally, last Thursday, we celebrated the Week for World Parliament uh, and we invite the students uh, from the models of uh, from India and Argentina and they present their bills and we uh, uploaded the bills on a voting platform that Democracy Without Borders uh, is developing. And the idea is to um, do this model, this UNPA simulation model with participants from around, around the world. And the idea also is to use the voting platform that Democracy Without Borders is uh, like changing and, and making it better. Um, so this is what we are doing in the, in the week for World Parliament. And it's a pleasure to see you here. I mean, that you are young people, that you are um, active players at the world level. Uh, and I am very happy uh, to be here telling you about our activities. And I, I want to invite you to see our, our page at democraciaglobal.org and also at umpamodel.org because there you will find uh, all the information about our activities and the UMPA model. And our idea is to do a, a UMPA model next year, but an international UMPA model. So stay tuned because maybe you, if you want, you can uh, apply and participate. So thank you, Omkar, and say, thank you, the, the organization. I wish you luck in this model. And of course, if you have any question, I'm here to, to answer that. Thank you. Thank you very much, ma'am. That was a very informative and uh, it was really encouraging to come across the work that was that has been done by Democracia Global and associated organizations in relation to the past two UNP models and the Week for World Parliament. So with this, I would like to now request all those participants who have a question to raise their hands. We'll recognize you one by one and we'll unmute you so that you may ask your question. Do we have any questions for Emilia, ma'am? Delicates, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. So do raise your hands and ask some questions. Yes, Arivir, you may go ahead. My question to Ms. Amelia here would be that considering kind of, uh, considering how global this initiative is, how how does the organization make sure that everyone in whichever part of the world the event for any kind of meeting is taking place, everyone is making sure that the groundwork is done being properly while the administrative work is also being done together. Like how is cooperation maintained in this whole operation? Um, could, could you repeat the question because my, my internet is not good. It's a little bit unstable. Yeah, so my question is how do you make sure that everyone working in different 
in different countries for this initiative is making sure that the work is happening etc when you know there's considerable geographical and physical distance between everyone well uh, that is i mean the 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 UMK model that we did in india was virtual so that makes um advantage of the distance between between countries um i think that the key is to to inform people through uh, social media uh, because there are many organizations that are organizing um simulations around the world so i think that um if the model is going to be online next year i mean we can see if we can do it virtual so a lot of people can can participate and at the same time i think that the 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 social networks are a key to promote these initiatives and to make people aware that this uh, simulation model exists that this week for world parliament exists and and of course we need to to create and and i think that is the most difficult task to create a network of organization that can um, exchange ideas uh, about uh, this UMPA, the UMPA campaign, and the several initiatives to make the international system more democratic. That is the key. So I believe, Aryavid, that answers your question. Uh, we'll go on to the next question, I believe, which, was, which is from Smita Ma'am. Uh, Omkar, it's not a question. I just want to add to what Emilia just said. You know, when you talk about cooperation, just like we're having this event, it's a virtual one. I'll talk about because I was the academic solution coordinator for the second UNPA model that took place in India. So we, you know, we had prepared for it one year in advance, and every you know week we had this Friday weekly meetings. So I guess that's how it worked. So I think that uh, COVID uh, did you know had challenges but also open the window for how virtually you know we can broaden our horizon and we can interact with each other i think that's something which uh, you know covid taught us and i think we used it effectively because we were constantly in touch on every friday meeting so i guess that's how we cooperate and if you want to make it happen you can certainly do it thank you and indeed such a gargantuan initiative by like having people across the world and that too over the internet and trying something new altogether. We have had MUN conferences, but something like this uh, that requires preparation from the scratch to indeed requires a lot of organization. And if it succeeds, then it will be a triumphant success. So I'll move on to the next question, which I believe, uh, Harshiti, you had a question? Uh, yes, sir, I had a question. Am I audible? Yes, you are. Thank you for the recognition. My question to Ms. Amelia, ma'am, is this UNPA model simulation is a very magnanimous one, bringing every nation, bringing every member states onto a table to discuss vital agendas is one of the most tedious and some of the most magnanimous things. However, uh, we have witnessed that even in the United Nations, uh, major countries, major financial contributors are America or European nations or Scandinavian nations. So how do UNPA model somehow eliminates that hegemony, that financial hegemony. Thank uh, Kaushiki for, for the questions. Um, the UMP model is a, a very um, new initiative, you know. So um, we are working on how to do it more relevant to the, to the challenges that today, I mean, make it more real in a sense. Because as, as I said, um, we act as global citizens and participants do not represent countries or parties. And we don't take uh, a lot of things into account. But this is because it's a new model, simulation model. We are learning a lot. And I think that um, we are talking with um, John Blasto, that I think is one of the speakers in the next few days that is um, doing, a, 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 he's trying to do a simulation model uh, in London, a UMPA simulation model, I mean. And we are trying like to, to take into account those things that, that you are saying and maybe to make participants uh, have uh, political parties 
or represent countries. But in this stage that we are learning uh, how to, to make this model better, uh, we are like uh, doing just uh, resemble this idea that they are citizens of the world and trying to discuss topics and making commissions uh, around those topics. Uh, but we are, we are um, also talking with international experts to make this model better and to take into account what you said. Vilin Koshiki, that answers your question. Or would you like to have another Yes, question? it does. Okay. No, thank okay. you so much. It was very comprehensive. Thank you, Koshiki. I believe you have a question from Hina Nizamani. Pardon me if I'm pronouncing your, not, your name incorrectly. Hello, sir. Hello? Hello, you are your audible, Hina. My question is very simple from earlier, ma'am, that uh, how we, we ordinary student, how we can participate as much bigger, how we can uh, get as much confidence and how we can uh, participate in such kind of uh, through social media. We are just connected. We are not participating. We don't have a proper platform or... Uh, proper guidance uh, we are just uh, learning but we are not uh, we are not connecting with uh, any person any particular person in particular organization my question is that sir no yes i think i think that i understand the question um um yes i mean it's not um it, not, it is not a must to be part of an, an organization to, to apply for this model. Uh, any participant, I mean, any person around the world, uh, we have, of, of course, some requirements. Um, they have to, to have a knowledge in international relations. They have to have a passion for the topic. Uh, well, in 2019 was the environment. In 2021, I mean, this year was gender equality. Um, and any participant uh, around the world can, can enter to the webpage, that is umpamodel.org, and apply. And then the, the UMPA simulation models um, consist of several trainings. So we explain the students techniques of negotiation. We explain them um, what is a global citizenship, what the UMPA campaign is. I mean, different concepts so they can uh, draft their bills and be prepared for the parliamentary assembly. That is the last session and the most important one. Uh, so there is a guidance through the whole model. Smita uh, helped uh, a lot. I mean, she was the academic coordinator and she's in, in, in touch with, with us. And of course, you can follow on our social media where we inform about the, the UMPA model and and we encourage every any person around the world uh, to participate. Sometimes uh, we um, make a partnership uh, with a university because it's easier for, for us to um, let students know about this initiative. Okay, uh, but any person around the world can participate. I believe uh, the question is answered, Hina. Okay. Do we have any other questions for Amelia, ma'am? Okay, Hina. No, okay. No issues. Any further questions? Um, okay. If uh, there is other questions, uh, you can also send a, an email to democraciaglobal at gmail.com and you can make all the questions that you want. I mean, Hina, do you want to, to make other questions? Ma'am, I just want to say one thing that uh, how can we, we ordinary people can be connected with you and how, how through this meeting, how will you, how will you guide us to get in, in, a, in a particular organization? 
I just want that, ma'am, you support me. I'm, I'm talking about me personally. That I need your support to get in any organization. I just want your guidance, and I just want that you. I just, I just want to become you, as like you. That I, 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 my henna wants to become like you. You get that, ma'am? I, I think I, I, I got it. Um, I think. Uh, or my advice is that she can volunteer in in an organization uh, that has values as you have. Um, when I started as a volunteer in Democracia Global, uh, I um, I wanted to. I have this idea of I want to change the world um, as uh, doing some small steps. Uh, so my my advice is that that she can. Um, search on the internet because there are thousands of initiatives and NGOs and organizations and foundations that um, want to have an impact on the world and, and to get involved and to do initiatives and to do small initiatives as we have uh, seen in the photos uh, as promoting the, the week for World Parliament and, and I think again that you, I mean you are young people and you have the capacity of um, expressing yourself through social media. I think that that is amazing, that that's amazing. Uh, and you can share your ideas with people around the world. And of course, if you have an organization, it's better um, and it's easier. So that is, that is my, my advice. And of course, if you want to, um, uh, to be a volunteer in Democracia Global, you can email us and, and of course you can um, visit our webpage. Uh, so there, there is a lot of information and all the initiatives that we have uh, around the, the UNPA campaign and also other campaigns that, that we have in Latin America, uh, but are not as important uh, to the topic that we are discussing today. Uh, thanks a lot, ma'am, for addressing all the questions patiently. I'm afraid due to time constraints, we'll have to move on. But uh, before we go ahead, for any further questions, we have the email of Democracia Global in the chat box. I'll post it again. Kindly uh, share your questions over here. And I believe you'll receive a nice reply to them. And also, I encourage all of you to join, the, join us in the World Federalist Movement uh, to volunteer in this wonderful campaign. There's a nice way to meet with more people, make friends and of course work towards a greater goal in the future. With that, I thank Amelia ma'am for joining us and uh, we seek your good wishes and uh, for this initiative. No, thank you Omkar and good luck to every one of you. Good luck. Bye. Right.